Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our uh, daily live market outlook uh, for uh, Thursday, 22nd of uh, September 2011. <clears throat> From the beginning, uh, I, want, I would like to announce the good news for all uh, Arabic speakers. The Arabic, uh, Arabic service will start as from tomorrow, Friday, 23rd of September. And it will be at this time of the time of the English session. While the English one will uh, become, uh, will start uh, one hour earlier, so at 7.00 GMT, uh, you will be sent, uh, will send you today the new links for the <coughs> news, <coughs> pardon, uh, new sessions and uh, uh, will start us from tomorrow regularly 7 o'clock uh, GMT English uh, outlook and uh, 11 o'clock uh, Arabic and this will be the schedule for the, uh, for the future. Uh, Mr. Omar, uh, my colleague, will be handling the Arabic service. However, I'll be available for any uh, questions, any requests, in case he, because he is just uh, beginning now, so we'll try to help him to uh, do the good job. <clears throat> As uh, we see during the during the night, <clears throat> the markets continue the it's uh, their. Uh, uh, risk aversion uh, trading mode after yesterday's uh, Fed's announcement. Uh, the Federal Reserve uh, uh, warned yesterday uh, of significant risks uh, to the already weak uh, U.S. economy and uh, launched uh, uh, the new... Uh, I hope you hear me very well. Now it's okay, I think. Uh, they actually... They launched a new plan to lower long-term uh, borrowing costs and bolster the battered the housing market. Uh, the central bank said uh, it will uh, sell uh, $400 billion of uh, short-term treasury bonds to buy uh, the same out amount of uh, longer-term uh, U.S. government debts in its latest attempt to kick-start growth that uh, slowed uh, and uh, actually it slowed significantly in the first half of the year. Uh, pre prices for uh, long-term government debts uh, rose uh, as an immediate uh, result, pushing the yields lower. A sign the measures uh, were more aggressive than uh, actually some ex investors had expected. And the yields on the benchmark 10-year uh, note dropped uh, as low as 1.856%. Uh, and this is the lowest in more than uh, 60 years. In addition to rebalancing its portfolio, the Fed intensified its efforts also to shore up the housing market by pledging the, to reinvest the proceeds from uh, maturing housing related debt it holds back uh, into the mortgage market. However, some uh, dissonant uh, tones came uh, immediately after release as the analysts said that the Fed actions might not have a great impact even if uh, they did uh, lower term, uh, long term, uh, if they did lower long term interest rates. The cost of uh, borrowing simply isn't a problem, uh, the, one of the analysts said. And the uh, business don't have uh, the confidence to invest and half of all mortgage borrowers don't have uh, the home equity needed to refinance the at lower rates. However, the immediate reaction was the stronger dollar and stocks and the commodities uh, is, uh, significantly lower. And this uh, mode actually continued during the overnight session. Uh, the euro hit uh, the fresh lows as well as uh, sterling. Uh, the gold and crude oil are down. So a little later in the technical uh, outlook, we'll see uh, the further. Uh, they will see in depth uh, uh, the outlook for today and the coming uh, days. Uh, from today's calendar, uh, quite a busy calendar as usually on Thursday, a series of PMIs, uh, German and European Eurozone already released. Uh, German manufacturing PMI came at 50, slightly below the expectation of 50.2 and the previous reading of 50.9. Uh, the same with, fly, with services PMI that came at uh, 50.3 versus 50.6. Uh, 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 good morning, everyone. The apologies for a short delay as we had a small uh, uh, 
a technical problem. So I think you didn't hear. I was uh, actually presenting for past uh, couple of minutes. I think that you didn't hear me. So we'll start from the beginning again. Uh, the markets uh, overnight uh, traded in a, a risk aversion mode after following yesterday's uh, Fed's announcement, and the, the dollar was uh, greatly boosted, while the uh, opposite currencies such as euro and the uh, British pound depreciated against the greenback and the commodities and stocks were also significantly lower after a release of uh, Fed's decision. As uh, announced already, the Federal Reserve uh, warned of significant risks uh, to the already weak US economy and they launched a new plan to lower long-term borrowing costs and bolster the, butter the housing market. The US Central Bank said it would sell uh, around uh, 400 billion US dollars of short-term treasury bonds to buy the same amount of uh, longer-term US government debt. Its largest attempt to, latest attempt to kickstart growth that slowed over the first half of the year. The prices of uh, long-term government uh, debt rose, pushing yields lower, a sign the measures were more aggressive than some investors had expected actually. The yield on the benchmark 10-year note dropped as low as 1.856% uh, and this is the lowest uh, in uh, more than 60 years. In addition to uh, rebalancing its portfolio, the Fed intensified its efforts to shore up the housing market by pledging to reinvest proceeds from maturing housing related debt it holds back into the mortgage market. Uh, comments from analysts, uh, uh, some uh, supportive but uh, also some dissonant tones saying that uh, Fed action might not have a great impact even if they did uh, lower uh, long-term interest rates and uh, saying the cost of borrowing simply isn't a problem. Uh, the business don't have the confidence to invest and half of all mortgage borrowers don't have the home equity needed to refinance the lower rates. So now we'll see what uh, will be the outcome of this, whether these uh, measurements uh, will uh, work and help uh, to boost the uh, US uh, economy recovery as uh, the unemployment uh, was in, at, uh, I would say, warning 9.1% and the, the things were not moving uh, according to uh, their plans. Uh, the immediate reaction uh, last night was uh, a stronger uh, dollar and the uh, opposite currencies such as euro and the sterling uh, lower against the dollar and the commodities were also pushed uh, lower. On the technical part we'll take a look uh, more into the, into the details. Uh, meantime, just brief uh, look at the, today's calendar. Uh, a series of PMIs that already uh, released from uh, Germany and Eurozone showing that uh, German uh, manufacturing PMI came at uh, 50, uh, below the expectation of 50.2 and the previous uh, month release at 50.9. Uh, services PMI uh, also lower 50.3 versus 50.6 uh, forecast and 51.1 previous month release. Uh, Eurozone manufacturing PMI 48.4 versus uh, 48.6 uh, forecast and 49 uh, previous month release and the Germ uh, Eurozone uh, services PMI 49.1 uh, significantly below the forecast at, at 51.1 and the previous month release at 51.5 so negative uh, uh, release negative results from the Eurozone in German uh, also we have uh, coming uh, from uh, as, uh, from Eurozone at 9 GMT industrial uh, uh, new orders uh, also in expected to dip to 1.1% uh, following the previous uh, month uh, minus 0 0.9. Uh, from uh, a UK also industrial order expectations uh, minus 5 is the forecast versus plus 1 the previous month release. Across the ocean uh, core retail sales and retail sales from uh, Canada. Uh, retail sales are going to uh, according to the forecast drop to minus 0 0.2 percent uh, versus the previous uh, release at 0 0.7 while core retail sales are uh, expected to slightly grow to 0 0.2 percent uh, compared to the zero, minus 0 0.1 percent the previous month release and the main uh, release for today is from US uh, weekly jobless claims 
are expected to sl slightly drop to 419,000 versus the previous week's uh, 428,000. This was from the today's uh, calendar and now let's uh, take a look on the markets and uh, see from the technical point of view what uh, what were the movements in past 24 hours and what are the expectations. Uh, starting with the euro dollar, as we can see that uh, yesterday's recovery attempt uh, actually starting from uh, 19th of September from 135.85 uh, made some progress, uh, broke some uh, significant levels first uh, 137.10.20 zone, uh, 137.43 which was the uh, Tuesday's uh, high and 137.52 the low of last Friday and extended uh, to the level just under uh, 138 which was our actually uh, key barrier in the in the near term. However, the gains stalled, and actually the Fed's release came at uh, this time and uh, blocking, uh, limiting the day the gains at 137.96 ahead of this sharp fall. A loss of uh, 135.85 as initial uh, support, and the next one at 135.55 has extended the losses uh, just close to our key barrier, key support at 135.00. Uh, so far we saw the 135.10, so definitely the uh, likely scenario would be test of uh, 135 and the break lower. That would uh, turn the outlook more bearish and they will end uh, the current uh, corrective uh, attempt uh, from uh, 135 that's basically released around 30, uh, retraced uh, around 38.2% of the entire move from 145.48 down to 135 where the, the gains were limited and now we have the fresh uh, bear phase that will be confirmed on a break below 135. The studies are uh, supporting uh, this scenario so the studies are quite bearish we can see that MACD and the uh, momentum are below their midlines and pointing lower also the RSI. On the daily also we have uh, quite uh, a strong uh, negative uh, tone. As, uh, however, the studies are quite extended at this point and the RSI on daily is approaching uh, the red zone, the oversold zone, so it might be signaling at the later stage some uh, corrective attempt. However, the bears remain uh, quietly dominant as, quite dominant as we can see that the uh, break of uh, a daily 20 days moving average below 200 days moving average signaling uh, further weakness and it's uh, uh, strongly pointing to the downside. Also the break of the channel support uh, increases the uh, risk of uh, further uh, leg, uh, further uh, weakness and the fresh low, leg lower is seen below 135 and the initial target comes at uh, 134.27 which is the February 2011 low. By a possible extension down to 134 and the uh, levels below uh, we will see how the the situation will be how the things will be developing and uh, later on we might come with uh, some further levels if uh, the euro dollar extends its uh, weakness. The upside as uh, mentioned earlier remains uh, quite well uh, capped uh, initial uh, resistance on the daily 137.96 yesterday's high and then 139.35 while the key barrier comes at around 140 zone where it's 50% uh, retracement of the entire move and the 200 days moving average is uh, keeping the bears firmly in play. <clears throat> the British pound also extended weakness after losing uh, 156.32 initial support and actually ending the uh, mild recovery attempt from 156.32 that was limited by main trend line, uh, bear trend line uh, drawn from 164.53 the uh, end of August uh, high and uh, yesterday's actually yesterday's dip down to 155.78 was followed by another recovery attempt that uh, stayed uh, capped under the trend line and was capped also by 20 days moving average uh, extending losses